والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد هبت في الله The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said in the hadith of Muawiyah رضي الله تلع عنه he said that the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم he reported that the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said من يرد الله به خيرا يثقوا في الدين Whenever Allah wants good for a person, he gives him fiqh, the deen. He gives him knowledge of the religion. And we've talked about this hadith countless times, and we'll continue to talk about it, bi'idhnillah ta'ala, and hopefully continue to benefit from discussing it. And as a reminder, that ilm al nafiyah that beneficial knowledge, comes from the book and the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And so this hadith, the Prophet sallallahu said, Man bi khayran, deen. Whenever Allah wants good for a person, He gives them understanding of the religion. And the religion comes from what? Comes from kitab wa sunnah. It comes from the book of Allah and the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah. Sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. So with that being the case, we need to increase our knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Increase our knowledge of the injunctions and commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Increase our knowledge of the of what Allah has prohibited us from, meaning that we need to know what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prohibited us from. Not that we indulge in that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prohibited us from to gain knowledge. La Bil Aqs. We want to avoid those prohibitions, but we have to know what those prohibitions are, and they only come from knowing the book and the sunnah of the Messenger, alayhi salatu wasalam. And we need to know what the Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who he was and how he practiced, how he lived his life, because he is the example for us. And as Aisha, radiallahu ta'ala anha, mentioned when, uh, uh, about the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa she said, Khuluquhu al Quran, that his, his, uh, his manners and his way and his uh, everything, if you want to know about the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, read the Qur'an. So, if we want to understand the Book of Allah, the speech of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, because we all believe in the, the Book of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, then it is uh, an obligation that we likewise understand and practice the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And this is why Allah Wa Ta'ala says in the Qur'an, in Many places, he commands. He commands us with this. He commands us to follow the Sunnah of the Prophet Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, "Wa Allaha wa Rasul," and obey Allah and obey His Messenger. So Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is commanding us with obedience to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, and He Tabarak wa Taala commands us with obedience to His Prophet, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So. It's an obligation, knowledge of the sunnah, in order to obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is what al nafiyah is. And as the Salaf used to say, Talib al-ilm, Talib al-jannah, seeking knowledge, is seeking paradise. Because they looked at it as something, you know, as an act of ibadah. They didn't look at it as a way to raise their status in the society, to be famous amongst the people, to marry women, to gain payment, except that their payment was Jannah. And this was the Sabila, the Salaf Salih. This is the Salaf Salih, meaning the, the righteous predecessors. Now, there were people in their time who did seek knowledge for uh, worldly gain. And this is why the Prophet ﷺ warned against it. And this is why the Salaf likewise warned against it and prohibited it and hated it and detested it. Because this was a for, uh, form of destruction. Likewise, another thing I want to mention is the Prophet ﷺ mentioned, likewise in a hadith, 
he mentioned that also it's impermissible to seek knowledge just to refute people. If that is your qast, I mean, that's your intention, is to just refute people, you know, just to uh, belittle ulama or dua to sunnah or people who call to good and knowledge or anyone for that matter, that's a wrong reason to seek Islamic knowledge. Islamic knowledge is there to be a means to get you to paradise. And going back to the hadith, the Prophet said, Whenever Allah wants good for a person, He gives him fiqh fi deen. So that shows us that, that seeking knowledge and attaining knowledge and true understanding of knowledge is a sign that Allah wants good for you. If you benefit and improve your Islamic knowledge and improve your standing with your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala, that is a sign that He, tabarak wa ta'ala, wants good for you. And we ask Allah azza wa jal the Almighty, to bless us to be of those, to bless us with ilm and nafia, wa rizqan tayyibah, wa amalan mutaqabbilan. And may Allah tabarak wa ta'ala forgive us of our many sins. Wa sallallahu wa sallam, ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.